Okay, I think we're going to go live in a second. going out there? Is everything coming through okay? I see we have Gerhard from from uh, the land of my people, Norway. Nice to see you. And then Mike, good afternoon. Thank you. In New Jersey. And here's my old friend Tom. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Have you bought any new guitars lately, Tom? He's a maniac. He's a guitar maniac. And I don't blame him. I'm kind of right behind you there, buddy. Dave, how you guys doing out there? Thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it. We uh, haven't, we didn't do a live stream last week because you know <clears throat> we moved to the central coast of California, beautiful area. But we came from a beautiful area up in the mountains by Yosemite, gorgeous. We had a huge house up there with a lot of land. It's very hard to sell when we wanted to move. So we did find a buyer that really loved the place and he was gonna do a lease option. And uh, okay, so you're gonna lease it for two years and uh, buy it. And uh, we set the price and, 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 and then he decided, well, we're not gonna, we're not going to buy it. We're going to move to Tennessee, mainly because of the 
California mandate to vaccinate or something their kids or I don't know something like that. But anyway, they split, and so we up and had to go and put our house back on the market. And we were up there. We we decided we're going to go up and spend two days cleaning it up. Well, it took five, and uh, so that's why we didn't have a live stream last week. So. We're still working on it. We've sold the house, and so, uh, but now we got to get it to pass inspections. And I tell you what, man, geez, what a mess! I don't need this keyboard. Hello, what's wrong? So anyway, um, now uh, here we are. And so we have our live stream today. So I hope you guys are doing good. I'm going to do a, uh, a song that's from the instant Christmas. And uh, um, it's, 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 you know, that instant Christmas, uh, it, it's like you get the tracks, here's the lead sheet, play some Christmas music. It's fun. And this is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And let me go. Hopefully it'll play good. Intro. Here we are.
anyway, there it is. Kind of a nice, grooving little thing, right? And uh, so it's just got a lead sheet, and you can play it any way you want. <clears throat> That's a great tune. Love that tune. David Bronson, thank you for joining us. Utah, from the mountains. It must be pretty chilly up there now. John and Tom from Connecticut. And there's Kirby from, Ken are you in Kentucky now? The guy is traveling, he's all over the place. He's crazy. So anyway, what are you guys planning for Christmas and New Year's? You got some special things going on? And uh, well, we do, it's gonna be fun. We have a big family and it's always fun at Christmas. You know, the construction of this song is just really beautiful. Um, you should uh, analyze the changes one of these days. It's really beautiful, I think. You know, have you ever heard of the term modeling? As a songwriter, songwriters model songs. And uh, so they'll take a song like that and, and they'll model model a melody kind of after it. In other words, they might, instead of going, they might go, they mix it up with a little rhythm and what have you. And then uh, they might change the chords around. So it just kind of gives you some uh, springboard to write your own stuff. Now the reason I'm doing this is my hands are freezing. But by the way, we got the Christmas guitar here, right? The, the pretty L5. So anyway, how's it sound out there? Geraldo Lopez from Iraq. Are you in the military? Wow. Thank you for joining us. Uh, what time is it over there? What day is it? It gets cold there, I guess, doesn't it? Um, so anyway, yeah, this guitar, we just did a, a video on it, and we're going to show it some more. Uh, it's kind of a fun guitar. It's always the one that I measure all the other guitars up against because it's got the reputation of an L5. Um, how about, let's play another song. You want to? What's that you say? So, Geraldo, you're in the military? Well, fam, th thank you for serving. And say hi to everybody out there for us. Wish them a Merry Christmas. And thank you. 2213, what does that mean? Tuesday, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday here. Wow, see, we have something in common. 2213, I don't know what that means. Hi, Rich Larry Simpkins here from Delaware, Berkeley, 1971. Oh, I always wanted to go to Berkeley. Love L5s and Eastman Ain't Tens. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Sure will. A little more reverbery than normal, and that might be because of my new hearing aids. <laughs> no, actually, it, it's kind of uh, kind of is up there a little bit. I turned down just a tad. So anyway, here is a song, um, and I like to start, sometimes take a song, and this is the middle part. Oh, it's 10.15 at night. Oh, okay, the 20, 22, okay, that's military time, okay. the middle part. Let me do it again. You know, 
what song that is? Okay, and that a cool little arrangement. I like it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I love that little tune. Although I do not like the Madonna version. <laughs> Yuck. But uh, I like the tune. Yeah, you know what's cool about the tune is, um, you know, like it, like you're saying there, Alex, rhythm changes. Um, pretty much is. Um, so it's one, six, two, five, but it, they use the flat five a lot. And that's what makes it cool. The flat five of, here's the flat five of E, B flat. And then the flat five of D, D, A flat. So... here anyway so uh, it's a it's a cool little tune so let's see cool rhythms had an L5 with 70 pickup covers Gibson and Grave what's on the one you're playing it's you know what I should have switched some camera angles so you can see what's going on it's just a bunch of uh, a very pretty flowery engraving all over the place. So, um, and then it's got these beautiful inlays, um, abalone inlays. Look at the uh, quilting on this, and on the back. I, he I hate to even play it because it's so pristine and um, 
<clears throat> By the way, the pick guard, I believe, is starting to gas off a little bit. Good. But uh, anyway, the uh, um, it's just so pretty that you, you I don't want to bump it. Certainly don't take it out to it for a gig and run it into a cymbal stand. So, guys, got anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to do? This is your show, not mine. So, uh, anything you want to talk about, let me know. It's showtime. <whistles> ba 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 da ba da. Um, you know, I've been looking at L5s, and uh, I, you know, I tell you, the Eagle Classic is just a little more comfortable. But I mean, these are nice too. But the the uh, East or the Heritage Company did something that Gibson didn't do, and that's put a steeper head uh, angle on the headstock. If you kind of look at that headstock, you see the angle of that, and uh, I forget what degree that is, but if you t compare it to a uh, Heritage, which is 17 degrees, it's much steeper. Therefore, it gives more down pressure on the nut, creating a little more sustain. Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to show you this lick. You know the lick here? And then... Let me show you that lick. It's a, I've used that lick on a tons of things. But this is in the key of G, so I'm going... Let's go close up. Let's see, is this that camera? Yes, it is. Uh, maybe I ought to go a little closer. So I'm going G, F, and then open E. And these are triplets. Da, do, da, da, do, da. And then a D, a, that, and then an open B. do it with a G a string. I'm going to go. Then. So I've got. Let's put it on this camera and see if that's any better. And then you do it on D string. Let's see, what did I do on a D string? I went down to E. I went E to G, uh, C sharp. So. And then. Uh, something like that. Just an open A and then get down to G. Yeah. yeah. I play it differently every time. And then here's the chord. I've got an F augmented. Got open B, open E. And then come down and grab the G. So it's it's like a, a G7 sharp, G13 sharp 11. Anyway, so here's the lick. Yeah. Ta-da! 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, have you tried the new Bose S1 battery amp? No, I haven't. I imagine if it's made by Bose, it's probably pretty good. So they're getting into the uh, guitar amplifier business. I didn't know they were. Hmm. I'm assuming it's a full range speaker. Now my quilter is a full range speaker with this eight inch. And that's why I like the quilter with the eight inch. Yes, I really do. So, you know, another fantastic song is, of course, got to put my coffee somewhere. Oh, Holy Night. And, you know, I did the song <clears throat> many years ago, 2013. And I don't think I've played it since. Yeah, I must confess. And why is that? Well, because it was kind of, it was hard and I don't know. It just, uh, it just didn't. But it's not that hard. I, I brought it back out and I thought, this ain't so bad. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do it. Uh, let me put it on a different um, camera angle. Oh, holy night. I should play it through twice. But anyway, that's the gist of it. You got to hold down a lot of notes. What I'd like to play, I like to only hold down a, a note for half a second. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, there it is. I, that's available on, uh, at the uh, Card College Library. Okay, so Larry says it's a six inch speaker, but sounds bigger. Cool. Uh, Kim says Christmas around the world. Did you listen to that tune? Uh, it was posted last night or yesterday. I, I, uh, I like that song. I was very proud of that song. It was written with a fellow named Don Robertson, who was an older gentleman. He's passed on. And uh, um, it's a... Uh, 
Don had written songs for Elvis and stuff, and um, I was privileged to write a song with him. So a friend of mine was doing an album, and she uh, liked the tune, and so we just did a little guitar arrangement with it, and there it is. Okay, uh, let's see, Kim. So anyway, thanks for bringing that up, Kim. By the way, that's on our our uh, you know channel. So, and by the way, I'm supposed to say, don't forget to hit the like button always on this stuff. Wes isn't with us. He is off uh, doing a video shoot, and uh, he'll be with us next time we get together. I hope. Patrick Evans. Hi, Patrick. How are you? <laughs> Glad to see you. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Gerhard, very nice. How should I make my own simple arrangement to Christmas? How should I make my own simple arrangements to Christmas songs? Well, I think the best thing is just to learn somebody else's arrangement. Um, what <clears throat> you can do with my arrangements is you can cut out things if that get too hard so uh, uh, that's what that's what I do you kind of make it your own so uh, otherwise you know it's that's the fastest way to, to do that and then once you learn about 40 or 50 songs you know you, you can do it on the fly once you analyze everything you can almost do it in your sleep when you understand how chords work and stuff so if you just get lead sheets and play them, you're not going to see all those cool moves. And in versions, if you get somebody's arrangement, you're going to see that. Uh, Larry, my, nice job. My sight reading has really gone downhill in 30 years. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Yes, I hear that. You, it's sight reading. You either you got to use it or lose it. And that's just the way it is. Lose it. Use it or lose it. But you know what? Um, one of the hardest things is uh, rhythms. So make sure you got rhythms down. And I got a course on rhythms at first sight, how to really learn a, uh, learn a, uh, learn what a rhythm figure is supposed to sound like. And then once you do that, uh, you're, you're good. You know, there's only about 28 rhythms in 4-4 four, four time. They're written differently. Now here's the problem with fake nails. I, I put on a fake nail last night, and today I soaked my hands in ice water and then in hot water, and my nail's coming off. Okay. Very nice. Does he? Very nice. Much nicer than the Cha 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 version I heard it on the radio. Yeah, it's like Oh Holy Night is such a a uh, pretty song the way it is. Um, you know, really, do you want to make a... Oh, holy night, oh, will the stars are brightly shining. You don't want to do a Chuck Berry version of it, do you? Hey, uh, which reminds me, uh, Gail's uncle said to me one time, I think Oh, Holy Night is the prettiest Christmas song. So a guy had given me a recording of this version of Oh Holy Night where this guy is singing and he's trying to sound like Elvis and he's just terrible. And the recording is awful. And so I sent it to him and said, I know you like this song, so I did a recording of it for you. I hope you like it. <laughs> and if you heard it, see my nail just came off. If you heard it, you, you just cringe and you laugh and cringe. So uh, the next time I saw him, he said, "You didn't re that really wasn't you, was it? <laughs> He's afraid to say that. Oh, God, that was terrible. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see, wait a minute. Sounds beautiful in the car. Kirby is listening in the car. And Kirby said, it's, look, those music box sounds. Kirby, Corvettes always make, the, are you in a Corvette, Kirby? Oh, man, that's my boy. Howdy, Jim Rolfe. How you doing there, buddy? Merry 
Christmas. Are you, Kirby, are you in Kentucky in a Corvette listening to this podcast? How, how do you do that? That's high tech. <clears throat> you bet. Wow, that's fantastic. What's the weather like in Kentucky? Um, well, thank you again for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate you guys coming in. Happy holidays. Thank you, Jeff, and you too. I'm turning 40 next month, and I'm ready for my first off stop after tons of flat tops. Do you have a buy once, cry once model to check out? Um, well, uh, you have to decide whether you want a 16-inch or you want a 17-inch. That's number one. I do have... I think I'm going to sell my Golden Eagle. That's 18 inch. I don't know if you're ready for that. Want that? But that is a superb guitar. Um, you know what? I was just thinking about, and I don't know why more people don't do this. <clears throat> why don't you order a <clears throat> Heritage guitar, Eagle Classic, from me? And it takes about a year and a half to build. And you got a year and a half to pay for it. Runs about four grand. So that might be the way to go. Hello, Troy. Uh, that you, you sound, uh, I don't recognize your name, so I, if you're, sounds great down under too. So you, are you in Australia? Wow. Now it's your winter there now, I guess, right? How oh, cool. Um, well, let's do another song. do that one. I reacted to the title on my list of things to do. Ralph just came from the doctor. Hope you're okay, Ralph. Uh, <clears throat> let's do one of my students, and he was probably going to be on the live stream today, said he got COVID now the second time. He had it two years ago. Now he just tested positive again. He's had all his vaccinations. Here we go. I wanted to do the instant Christmas version. Here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. So the guy that wrote Rudolph also wrote Rocking Around the Christmas Tree and um, Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. And uh, he also, uh, his name was Johnny Marks. Little FYI. I just bought an Eagle Classic, oh, Artiston. The other, the best guitar I've ever played and known. Thanks for the advice. Good for you. So does that uh, guitar look like it's old? Is that the deal with the artist in? Also, uh, Troy, on that guitar, um, you might lift the pickups off the top a little bit. I think you might be surprised. It might open up even a little bit more. Um, that's a great guitar, wonderful guitar, and they're building them just fantastic, so. Can you please show us some licks for rocking around the Christmas tree? Well, da -da 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 -da. how about blowing in solo without any backing, please? How about you... How do you go about blowing in solo arrangements without any backing tracks? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see, where are we at in time? Is that what you mean? Jazz counter lines? That's what I call jazz counter lines. Hmm. Were you kind of playing rubato? It's a crisp sound. The guitar is wide open and, and so everything's up. Is that what you mean? Um, for his solo around uh, blowing in solo arrangements without any backing tracks? Is that what we're referring to? Is jazz counter lines? Okay, Kim, licks for rocking around the Christmas tree. So we went rocking. So we got a lot of A chord. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Then an E chord, right? So, two ways to look at it. If the chords, if the rhythm section is moving up, the rhythm section is moving up. Whatever you play in the... Uh, a scale is going to sound good against the chords moving. So every time a chord moves, it's going to give a different slant on what that's going to sound like. Hear it? All just in the key of A. So, uh, so whatever you play in that. Now, here's a nice lick. That's a nice little sequence. And now for the E chord, check this is an easy little lick. Right around an E chord.
It's all rocking around if we soon. Something like that. There's two, uh, four bars of rocking around the Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, I, I hope that helps you. Okay. <clears throat> so, a long time ago, uh, me and a fella used to drive down to, from Thousand Oaks down to Burbank to take lessons from a guy named Tom Morell. Tom Morell was the th son of John Morell was the dad and then there's John Morell Jr. who was a excellent jazz guitarist and studio player you know just really great and he had a brother named Tom and so anyway we were studying with him and he's the first one to show me a G scale so I was in college when and I first learned a G scale can you believe that Pew. so <clears throat> but one of the days he couldn't be there so one a guy took his place, and the guy's name was Dick Morgan. Dick Morgan was a big, jolly fella. He, okay, he could have been Santa Claus. He didn't have a white beard, though. But he was big, and he's funny. And he uh, was the brother J.P. Morgan. You remember J.P. Morgan? She was a, a gal on uh, Hollywood Squares or one of those shows, you know. Uh, kind of a risque, good-looking girl. And he showed me this lick. Hey, check this lick out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right around the chord. Now, you can do that to any chord, A minor. A C major, uh, a C6. <laughs> yeah, so he... He showed me that. It's funny, you know, you connect licks with somebody, you know, it's a connection there. It's crazy. Did I lose any people talking? Because I'm only, I'm still have the same things on here from a long time ago. So anyway, I hope hope I didn't miss some of the feeds. Um, so there's a couple licks that you can do for rocking around a Christmas tree. Do I have that on here? I do. Let's play that. Maybe you can get some licks. Let's see, where is that? Hey, hey, hey. Here it is. Just happen to have that right here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Are we still going here? Here is rocking around the Christmas tree. And I'll play some licks. That's Red Rudolph. A. Okay. Here we go.
take the tag. Something like that. What is going on with this? I am not getting any more comments. Sign in to chat. What? Anyway, I think we're getting close to the end here. We got any, um, well, you can't even ask any questions. So, hey, let's play one more tune. And uh, anyway, I hope that helped you. Excuse me. Sorry for being so scatterbrained. Hope that helped you as far as uh, ideas for that. Just play kind of square, Daddy-O.
Anyway, uh, let's see. I did get a couple. I was thinking about my own chord melody and came to realize that I almost always play four note chord when melody is on the first string. Triplets are much more common than the melody note is on the second string. Yeah, that sounds about right. How do you get the backing tracks? Do you do them or purchase them somewhere? Well, I have them. I have them. It's called Instant Christmas. It's on our library, Guitar College Library, or guitarcollege.net under the Christmas courses. You can just pick them up. Jim Wolf, Rolfie, says so swingin'. Thank you, Jimmy Rolfie. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. You get everything you want. And uh, you make everybody around you happy. And I will see you in, uh, I think, in a, in a week. So please tune in. Christmas.